Hey guys, Eric Dolan here. How's it going? I'm here to post a video um, about a problem that most of you are having if you're watching this video. The problem, you probably have OS X Lion, like I do, and you want to install OS X Leopard or Snow Leopard, most likely. So right here at 10.71, it's a great system, but you cannot, it will not let you install your lion, your leopard, or your snow leopard. You put, you put the CD in there, you hit install. So you cannot use this, this version of the application install on Mac OS X with this version of Mac OS X. So, <laughs> how do you fix it? Well, I'm gonna show you. I've been trying to do this for a couple weeks now. I finally figured out the solution. Okay, so what you wanna do is you need to create a partition for your snow leopard. You know, I got my snow leopard here. How you do that, you go up here, utilities go into your disk utility right there and you're gonna click here I've already done it so why it already shows up but you go here click partition you're gonna hit the plus sign that'll add another partition name it whatever you want I named mine snow leopard um, 180 gigabytes I have a two I have a 500 gigabyte hard drive on this computer so about um, almost half not quite but 180 gigabytes is enough for me on that partition so I created that okay here's the key after you do that, shut your computer off. I'm not gonna do that because I'm running a podcast right now. Um, however, you need to shut your computer down when and turn it off, okay? And here's the key. You need another computer. You need another Mac that's running Snow Leopard or Leopard. You cannot use another computer running Lion, otherwise it's gonna do the same thing. So, turn your computer off, get your other computer up, the Mac, um, Snow Leopard or Leopard. Hopefully you have a friend that can help you or you have a spare, maybe your old one. Okay, you need a FireWire. Connect the FireWire from your Mac to the other Mac. Turn your computer on. While your computer is booting up, hold down the T and that will turn your computer into a hard drive. Hold it down, it'll come up, it'll show a FireWire and Thunderbolt type icon. That means your computer is in FireWire mode. Okay, that is your computer, the one that you're, you're trying to get upgraded. Okay. All right, now you're gonna to go to the other computer that you're using to upgrade your stuff. You're gonna install the CD, the, the Mac OS X Snow Leopard CD into that computer. When it boots up, click on it to install it. And it's gonna run you through some options. It's gonna ask you what hard drive you wanna install it on. When that happens, you wanna install it on your partition that you just created. In this case, you know, my Snow Leopard, that's what I did, okay? After you do that, it's going to read through some more steps. It's going to restart. It might take you about 30 minutes to a half to an hour ish. It's going to restart. It's going to ask you for your information, just like as, it, as if it was a brand new computer. Enter your stuff. You know, just like you, it's, it's the first time you turn on your computer, it'll run off the other computer onto, and it'll show you all the setup stuff. Set it all up. Okay, now here's the key. Once it's done doing that, you will have to. Go up here, I mean, this is this is Lion, but it's gonna be similar. You call this little Apple icon up here. Click on software, software update, okay? It's gonna open a window like this, it'll pop up, it'll say that you need need some updates, okay? Update those, it might be about 1.20 gigabytes of update, so it might take you a couple hours depending on your internet connection. You have to do that, you have to update from 10.63 to 10.68. If you just do what I just said, but don't update, it will not work. Trust me, I tried it. <laughs> You have to update from 10.63, which comes on the CD, to 10.68. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. After it's updated to 10.68, you can shut your comp that computer off, unplug your computer from it, turn your computer on, uh, click the, turn the button, hit, hit your Mac button on your, on your button, the power button, That'll, your computer will turn off, turn it back on, hold down the Alt key or the Option key. When you do this, it'll open up into a hard drive. You'll see your Snow Leopard partition, your Macintosh HD partition, and you will see, I think this is Mac, um, Macintosh recovery or something like that. Click on your Snow Leopard partition. It'll boot up, and you will have your Snow Leopard running on your Lion machine. Um, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions or can't figure it out, let me know. Um, I'm going to shut this thing down real quick, and I'm going to show you I, I, just, I pulled out my, my camera, my video camera to show you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here I am. I'm on my other, on my camera, showing you what, see here's my, here's my snow, here's my lion. 
you know, you can see right there. You can see right there that this is, I'm just going to show you that, that it does work. Um, there is the 10.71 Lion computer um, system right there. Um, so I'm going to shut this down. Okay, shutting down. Oop. Hang on. I forgot to turn this off. I almost lost my podcast, guys. Hang on. Okay, so here I am. I'm on my other, on my camera, showing you what. See, here's my, here is my snow. Here's my lion. You know, you can see right there. You can see right there that this is. I'm just going to show you that that it does work. Um, there is the 10.71 lion computer um, system right there. Um, so I'm going to shut this down. Okay, shutting down. Oop. Hang on. I forgot to turn this off. I almost lost my podcast, guys. Hang on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that is saved. I'm going to share that real quick to my desktop real quick. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, once you've done that, uh, well, no, sorry. I'm just... Okay, so I'm shutting my computer down right now. Okay, when you turn it on, hold down the Option key, or the Alt key. Okay, here you go, see? Here you got the Recovery HD right here. You got the Snow Leopard right here. And you, you got the in Macintosh, Snow Leopard, Recovery HD, okay? Click on your Snow Leopard, enter, and here it goes. Yeah, I know it's frustrating. I've been trying for weeks to get this to go. All my Adobe stuff doesn't work. PowerPC doesn't work. Um, it is frustrating, but I uh, got, got, here's the, here's the solution. Um, here it's booting up. It will take a few seconds longer to boot up. I don't know. Uh, I've never run Snow Leopard before. Um, so Lion is a little bit faster to boot up, but here you go. You know, I'm going to open up right here about this Mac. There you go. See, so you got. Ten point six eight Mac OS X. There you go, Snow Leopard on a Lion preloaded computer that everyone will tell you is not possible. The Apple Store will tell you it's not possible. Mac, the people at Mac, you call Apple, you know, one eight hundred My Apple will tell you it's impossible. They'll tell you that firmware blocks it, but um, I have done it. There's been no issues so far, and uh, everything's working fine. So. Um, there you go. There's the solution. Let me know if you have any if you have any issues or need any help. Thanks a lot. Peace. Hey guys, just wanted to clarify real quick. I asked. No, I said in the last part of the video um, that I had, I hadn't used Snow Leopard before. That's because on my old system I had Leopard. So I'm I got Leopard, um, but got a new computer that had Lion. And now I'm going to Snow Leopard. So my Adobe stuff is compatible from Leopard to Snow Leopard, and that is why I got Snow Leopard. So Snow Leopard or Leopard will work with the process I just explained. Um, however, I recommend using Snow Leopard as it is mostly, or all, um, as far as I know, all 64-bit compared to Leopard, which is pretty old and doesn't, um, it's only partially 64-bit. So I would go with Snow Leopard, run those um, steps I just told you about, and you will be fine. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot, guys.